Welcome to Daily Armor. Today I'm going to be in Galatians chapter 5, looking at verse number 1. Galatians 5, looking at verse number 1. Um, don't know if you struggle with these kind of things as I do. Um, as y'all probably guess, I struggle with a lot of things. Um, there's a lot of things that gives me trouble. Um, I This morning, just keep having that phrase, um, a revival that we've had in the past. Um, Brother Carl Partain preached one night. Um, I think of all of the message that he preached that week, that one was for me. Um, I have definitely had that thought pattern go back um, across my mind over and over again, but he, his, his message was about, why would you want to go back? And as I have victories, um, there's that little bit of something that wants to sneak back in. Um, i was sharing this last night with some friends of mine, um, was dumping a bunch of leftover candy from the festival, um, putting it together. Uh, one of our ladies has a ministry where, you know, that's how she um, fellowships with the youth. That's how she communicates with the youth. Um, and she has a candy ministry. And I was gathering up, you know, sorting some things, separating some things and gathering up the candy. Um, I had fasted yesterday um, for about 24 hours, somewhere through there, uh, maybe come up a little bit short, but around 24 hours I had fasted, um, and apparently um, I don't need to face chocolate when I when I have fasted, um, or really I don't need to I don't need to put myself in front of it very often at all. Um, so I was dumping, and I was just so. Hunger. I'm not making excuses. I'm absolutely not making excuses. I've had to go to the Lord this morning, ask him to forgive me. Um, I just, I kind of had that voice of reason saying, just dump it. Let her sort it because you can't handle it. But then the other side of me was like, I can handle it. I'll be good. No, you didn't. No, you wouldn't. Um, so definitely, and that's another devotion. I've got a couple of devotions that I have not videoed yet, um, but I'm Lord willing, we'll get those videoed in the next, you know, maybe some more today, um, time uh, willing, maybe some more today or tomorrow. But I have a few devotions that I've um, done, but I haven't been able to do videos on them just yet. But I wanted to skip straight to this one. This was fresh for today. Um, instead of I was going to start with some of my previous ones um, that I was already, you know, already had um, put together, but I just was, I needed to do this. I needed to do this and I needed to do it today. Um, Galatians 5, 1, let's get on with it and then I'll explain a little bit more, but let's get on with the scripture today. And it says, stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. See, this keeps coming back up. The Lord has freed me, and He does. He He freed me from from sin. He freed me from the bondage of sin. Um, there are several songs that I love, and they talk about being freed from prison, being freed from chains, and that's literally what it felt like the day I got saved, like I had been absolutely, like I was a bird that was trapped and somebody had let me out, like that I was caught in a net and somebody cut me out, like I, I was, all of these things, I felt the day that I got saved, like I was dangling and I was losing my grip and I wasn't, it wasn't anything I can do from it, but somebody had to come and rescue me and that was Jesus Christ, that was my Savior. That was God himself that came in the flesh so that he could be my, my savior. And that's exactly what he did. And on that Monday night, he saved my wretched soul. And, and, and since then, I have been liberated. I'm no longer doing things on my own. I no longer have to do things on my own. I don't even want to do things on my own. I find myself going back to a couple of old habits of, of trying to do some things on my own only to find out like what are you doing you don't even want to do this you don't you know it's just like it just keeps wanting to, it but it wants to creep back in um and just like and i'll just confess i had two almond joys <laughs> the little you know 
not big ones. <laughs> I could have, but, not, but that's not what was there. Those little, you know, those little ones. So there was two Almond Joys. There was two Snickers. And I think I had two, three Musketeers, maybe three of those. Um, and so I quickly, I was like, stop, 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 stop. You have been liberated from sugar. You have been granted freedom from this pull. I don't have to give in to this pull. There's plenty of other treats and wonderful things that I can have that won't just ruin everything that I've already done, everything that, that I have been delivered from. It's not even about what I've done, but it's about what he did for me. He, what he did for me that Monday when he showed me what I needed to do is he liberated me from the flesh being in charge. But it's so easy to fall back into that. And even though, you know, it may happen in just a day or a moment, stop, you know, I'm telling myself, stop. I've been liberated from this. I, God has delivered me from all of this. I don't have to go at this alone. Yes, I'm going to be faced with temptation all the time. Yes, there's there's chocolate everywhere you go. Um, you know, there's there's going to be, you know, treats and and temptations of of whatever whatever your, you know, whatever your temptation is. Um, whatever my temptation is, it's we're going to it's 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 in the world. We live in this world, we live in this flesh. It's going to be there, but he's liberated me from the bondage of it. I don't have to submit to it. I don't have to feel like the flesh is in control. Um, I knew I should have stopped. I knew I shouldn't have. I should have just, I want to be helpful. I want to, you know, but at the same time, sometimes, you know what? You have to say no. And you have to realize that when you're saying no, it's because you don't want to put yourself in a bind. And the person that you're saying no to, or whatever the case may be. In this case, I just was trying to help this friend of mine um, not put extra on her, but this is not something that bothers her. It bothers me. And she wouldn't want me to give in to this. Um, so it was just, you know, um, moments of weaknesses that we have that we have to be reminded, that I have to be reminded, stop. It says, okay, the very first word, very first phrase is stand fast. This means persist, per persevere. I need to persevere against the flesh. I need to be firm. It, says, it means to be firm, stationary. I might like, stand still and understand. The Holy Spirit is saying, you don't need to do this. Dump it and get it, get away from it. You don't need to be around this. Get away from it. And I knew the Holy Spirit was speaking to me that and about that. And that was, you know, even I just read a devotion. I just had prepared a devotion in something similar to that. Um, I have got to separate myself from some things sometimes. There's certain things I just, I just, I still can't be around. Um, it's too tempting, especially in circumstances as like when I was fasting. Um, <sighs> I know better. I need to be persistent. I need to persevere. I can't do it in my own flesh. My flesh is weak. My flesh shows me all the time that it's weak. But what I can do is I can understand that there's liberty through Jesus Christ that I don't have to give in, um, whether it's your temper, whether it's some kind of, you know, um, other kind of sinful behaviors, whether it's your, your language, your mouth, your, your, your mind, those things that you think about, those things that you ponder on. And you're like, why, you know, and you, you, you've got, you've been liberated from that and God will help you. Jesus will help you. The Holy Spirit will speak to you. And, and what do I do? What did I do? I got into the word. I'm like, Lord, I need some verses. Lord, I need some scripture. Lord, I need some help. And then uh, I was on my Bible app this morning really early and I was flipping through some uh, devotions and Galatians 5, 1 came up and I'm like, oh, yes, Lord, I need that reminder. I have been liberated from this. So I need to be persistent. I need to persevere. I need to be firm. I need to be stationary. I am not a slave to sugar. 
because God has liberated from me from that. He liberated me from that back in March of this year. He liberated from me. I don't have to have that pull. There's lots of things out there that is okay for my body to have and it's not going to send me on a spiral um, going backwards. I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back to the way I felt before. I was in pain. I was miserable. I was tired. I was waking up in the middle of the night. Um, I had inflammation. Um, I mean, so many things because when you have a little bit, then I would want more and want more and want more and just a vicious cycle. And God has liberated me from that. Um, but it's one of those things that I have to continue to persist at, continue to persevere, continue to be firm in my stand that even, even when I'm trying to be polite, I have to say, you know what? I just, I just can't have sugar. I can't handle it. I can't handle it. And God has showed me that I can't handle it. And I know I can't handle it. And I don't want to go back. Um, I love this. Um, therefore, you know, what is it there for? What does that therefore mean? What is it talking about? I, I went out and I was like, and I normally don't look up the definitions for these kind of words, but I just kind of had a feeling this like press on that. You know, I was in my King James Bible dictionary um, at, or the online and I just, therefore, and it had a definition. And so I just clicked on it. And I'm so glad I did. Because it said, so stand fast. I'm going to be persistent, persevere, firm, stationary. I'm going to stand fast. Therefore, the, what that means is these things being so, what things being so, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free. We're in this together. He's made us free. Whatever your bondage is, whatever that flesh is holding on to you about, whatever, you've been freed from it. And we're we're sisters in Christ. We're doing this together. And if you're not a sister in Christ, you can be. He wants to liberate you from the most amazing thing is to be liberated from sin altogether, is to be liberated from that bondage, is to be liberated from that that penalty that I couldn't even pay. There's nothing I can do to pay that penalty of sin. There's nothing I can do to make up for it. There's no price. There's no church you can join. There's no baptism, uh, water baptism that you can have. It doesn't matter if you're dunked 15 million times in the Jordan River. Um, you know, your salvation is about Jesus taking away that sin, about submitting that, Lord, I can't do anything about this bondage that I'm in, this sin bondage, but Lord, you paid the price and I accept your free gift. He's, it's, I've been given. I've been given. I've been made free. You've been given. If you're, if you know Jesus as your Savior, you've been made free from any bondage. We don't have to say, Lord, I can't and, and don't even try. What I have to, what I've been learning to say this year so much this year is, Lord, there are so many things I can't do, but you are letting me know that you are able to enable me to do things that I can't do. Um, I, he no longer wants me to say I can't, but he wants me to say I can't without you. But with you, Lord, I can do any, uh, there's any, there's nothing that's impossible because it's not about what I do. No, I probably didn't even say that right. With you, nothing, nothing, nothing is impossible. Everything and anything is possible with Jesus, even feeling that bondage of, of giving up sugar and it wanting to draw me back in. It could be alcohol. It could be drugs. It could be bad friendships. It could be terrible relationships. It could be um, anger and and distrust and fear oh my gosh fear can be so crippling fear can be so some people are afraid to even try and the lord wants us to go in his power in his strength in his abilities and not in my own but when my flesh is trying to rule and reign like it was trying to rule and reign um, I know that the Holy Spirit is telling me, step away, back away, stop. And that's what I had to do. I had to submit. I had to just dump it all in a bag and say, 
this is for you. Um, you know, I had to walk away from it and I had to admit that I had, you know, given in to the flesh, even if it was just for a moment. And I don't want to go back. I don't want it to get my mind um, off of persevering and being persistent and being firm and, and continuing to, to reach out and keep a grip on the Lord's hand. Lord, I, you know, it's one of those prayers this morning where I was crawling up in his lap, where I was saying, Lord, Father, please help reset my brain, reset my mind, give me what I need. Lord, I don't want to go back. Um, I was uh, one of the scriptures. Um, let me see if I can find it. I wrote it down. Matthew 26, 41 said, watch and pray. Watch and pray. Keep my eyes on him and pray. Keep my eyes on him. Not the storm, not the distractions, not the enemy, not the sugar. Keep my eyes on him and pray. That ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing but the flesh is weak and my flesh was weak and I want to be strong and I can't be strong in myself. I've got to put on all my armor, but it's the armor of God, not my armor. It's the armor of God. It's him. <sighs> I'm running out of time. Let me finish up. Therefore stand or stand fast. Therefore, because these things say things. So in the Liberty, true Liberty I love this definition. If you don't get anything out of today's devotion, get this. True liberty is living as we should, not as we please. That definition helped me tremendously. Living as we should, not as we please. As I pleased was, give me some sugar. As I should was saying no. No, I, that's not what I want. That's not what God wants for me. This is bad for me. This is not going to, you know, this is going to actually bring me pain. It's going to bring me like a little bit of taste buds are going to be flared for a few seconds. And then I'm going to wake up like I woke up this morning and I felt like I have a bruise on my elbow. I have inflammation and I'm like, there's nothing there. It's just inflammation. It's sugar. Sugar is not good for me. It may not bother you. It's great. It's great. There will be other things probably that bother you. But for me, God has showed me sugar is your problem. And I don't want to be entangled back in it. Wherewith Christ hath made us free. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He is how that I don't have to give in. That I have, I have been liberated. I have been truly liberated from this. Not just sugar, but of course the most amazing thing is sin bondage and be not entangled. He has made us free. I've been delivered. He delivered me. He liberated me from the dominion of sin. I love that definition. Liberated me from the dominion of sin and be not entangled. So I'm not to be ensnared. I'm not to be engaged in this again. I'm not to go back to this again. And this has really gave me so much um, determination and drive and persistence and, you know, no, absolutely not. Um, if I have to, you know, when my granddaughter's like, here, TT, open your mouth, you know, she wanting to give me something. And if it's a, if it's a sweet treat, um, I'm, I'm going to say, baby, I'm, I'm good. I'm full. You know, I can't, um, I'm not, to, I can't handle it. Not even a bite. A lot of people can handle things in moderation. I just don't do that well in moderation. It's 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 too easy to go get another bite and go get another bite. I just can't. I just can't. And the Lord is telling me, do not, be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage because it brings me bondage. This yoke, it's a burden. It's heavy. It's, gosh, now my shoulders are hurting. It's heavy. Bondage. These are the conditions of a slave. The sugar wants me to keep coming and get some more, a little bit more, you know, and I'm like, oh, yes, yes, you know, no, no, I'm going to stand firm. I'm going to stand fast. I'm going to be stationary and say, no, I have to walk away. I don't want that. I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back. I've got to stop 
Ask Jesus to forgive me. Ask the Holy Spirit to help me. Ask God the Father to show me. And I have to I have to keep my eyes. He says, watch and pray. Matthew 26, 41. Watch. Keep my eyes on him. Keep my eyes on him and pray. Thank you for joining me. I look forward to seeing you again soon.